Hey guys, it's Steve. Hope you guys are enjoying. This is Axis Revolutions issue two. Yes, it's a long waiting issue. I have really enjoyed the first one. Let's go what the cover says, and it's the in comic vine. There are lots of users are saying it's pure entertainment. Firstly, this is a must read for any Nightcrawler fans. End of sentence. Yes, cover. While it's not a rare work of art or anything, it's well proportioned detail doesn't have any silly mistakes and all the characters shown actually appear in the book as good as it gets for a normal cover rating 5 out of 5 for the cover first story the first part focuses on Nightcrawler and Sabretooth it's a surprisingly interesting slug faced between these two characters the inverted Kurt fights with none of his usual moral constraints and it is 100% entertaining unless you are the one fighting him then it's zero percent. It quickly becomes clear that Kurt's Christian values have been the only thing keeping the X-Men's opponents alive and in one piece all this year's pure action from start to finish that doesn't disappoint. Rating 5 out of 5 for the first story. Second story in part 2 we are treated to a totally different tone and art style and a different kind of battle Thor versus alcoholism. Yeah, that's a that's a different kind of that one. Let me get to the first uh, first story also because this one is a really bit of action and time like the nightcrawler is suddenly from disappearing and appearing from here to there, boom, 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 that kind of thing. It's really interesting sometimes, and it, if you can feel it, it looks like purely movie, and that is gonna be a VFX action movie, kick-ass movie. It's it's really entertaining. So for the second story in part two, we are treated to a diff totally different tone and our style and a different kind of battle. Thor and alcoholism. These writers take the thin premise of an issue long bender and get maximum mileage out of it. The addition of CJ Ford's character and his intermittent Twitter updates turns that would have been depressing picture of a hero for falling apart into a hilarious adventure. This is the first time I have seen inclusion of social media actually improve a story. I was impressed. Also Thor using air quotes might be the best thing ever. That one really like it because here you can see the totally art is different kind of thing and the style is really cool and it's really enjoying. Summary we open on Sabretooth returning a stranger's lost corp. That's pretty much different. And for this story, it's this is a pretty much one big fight scene. But despite that, we got plenty of action in this one. So um, maybe a lot of guys say a lot of things. They are different opinion from this kind of things. But I have to admit that I really enjoyed this one. But uh, critics can be different. Critics can be like more of this issue kind of thing. But it's art. Let's go for the art. The first story has greater style with more jack lines and dark colors. Perfectly suits the tone. The second story is more lighthearted and has smooth lines, rounded shapes, and uh, what should I say? And brighter colors. This also perfectly fits the tone of the story. I did notice in part two one panel with Thor's right elbow sloppily drawn aside from that everything looked good. Rating for two. This one is 4.8 on 9. Yeah, so that's a different. And uh, if it go like this, that overall I have loved the access storyline so far. There's a little something for everyone. Part one gave us a nice gripping drama for the adults to enjoy. Then part two brings underused characters back into the spotlight. The most unified X-Men squad since before Schism. And heroes acting like ridiculous over the top cartoon villains. Most shockingly, from what I have read so far for the for the Axis Times, includes this ones are actually worth buying. There's nothing I disliked about this issue, just the one art snafu that keeps me from giving it a perfect score. But luckily, I can't give partial stars. This is pretty much entertaining while giving this a review. This this rattles the inverted Creed's cage and the old newspaper walks away instead remarking guess I'm not the man I used to be. This was the last quote for from the Sabretooth. And uh, I really like this illustration. It's a fine cartoon kind of illustration. So review this was a pretty much one big fight scene, but despite that we get plenty of character stuff from the comments being made by both men and the actions they are willing to take. Creed is trying to be a better man, but still he's he was still 
willing to fight back and Kurt is angry, bitter and f in full revenge mode. That is a different thing. I love seeing Kurt c lose and we got some pretty impressive action from him in the story. How the hell did Mystique survive an encounter with him during Axis teleporting off limbs? This is a really really short kind of way but it's amazing thing. And the art was great in this both Creed and Kurt looking menacing and the flow of the action and teleporting was captured very well. That's what I say. It's kind of a oh shit, what the happened? It's look at Thor. There's no face. Yeah, sometimes these illustrations make me really, really crazy. And the art was great. The only flaws I really had with the story were Chris' explanation for predicting where Kurt would strike. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Just go to the store and buy this issue.